South African national Nick DeWitt last came to Uganda in 2013. The 35-year-old rides motorbike type KTMSX 350T. On his visit to Uganda, which is to take through different motocross riders and motorcyclists in various freestyle motocross drills, as motocross champion Arthur Blake Jr. explains. We're bringing him back this time round to give our motocross fans uh, uh, money for their a run for their money because uh, he's learned very many new tricks. He's been competing world over uh, in different championships. He's learned very many numerous tricks on top of the back back flip or the back somersault, which he does on a motorcycle. Ugandan riders are also preparing for the East and Central Motocross Championships as well as African Championships. The best five riders from the five classes are to represent Uganda in the African Motocross Championships. We have our Ugandan team, who are, uh, in which this is one of the rounds where we uh, select the team that will represent Uganda in the Africa Championship. So our riders also have been training very hard, and uh, we're going to be seeing lots of action from the MX-50 to the MX-1. However, Nick is also going to train a local team of freestyler riders. We have a local team. Uh, including myself. Uganda has got a total of five freestyle motocross riders, among which include Tamale Ahmed, Tahachi Gundu, Fatuchi Gundu, Michael Tylo, and Arthur Blake Jr. <laughs> Michael Tyler, one of the motocross riders who is to benefit from the visit of Nick DeWitt, says with his promotion from MX2 to MX1, if it wasn't for financial constraints, he would be equivalent to wit by now. In a Pewe class, William Blake leads with 169 points. Isabel Blake leads 50cc with 150 points. In class 65, Imlan Cruziza takes a lead with 147 points, as Benny Sumba takes on 85cc with 145 points. <laughs> Stefan Nkenga leads MX 125 with 117 points. Fatuki Gulu tops MX 2 with 108 points. As national motocross team captain, Maxim Van P takes on MX1 with 108 points. With three rounds left to the end of the year, points collected from the fourth round are essential in determining who is to be the national motocross champion 2016. Olivia Nakate, WBS TV Sports.